In this video, we'll apply the ideas we've been developing on perturbation theory to solve a, the problem of a quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator in a constant electrostatic field that we'll denote by this curly E to differentiate it from uh, the energy. So a isolated quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator has a model Hamiltonian that has a kinetic energy contribution. And a quadratic potential energy term. So uh, over here, M is the mass of the oscillator. Omega naught, it's uh, the natural frequency. And to this, we're going to add an electric field. So we're going to assume that the oscillator has some charge on it. And when you have a charge in a constant uh, electrostatic field, it has a potential given by minus QEX, where we're going to replace the X by the position operator X hat. So here Q is uh, the electric charge of the oscillator. So with this, we've built up our new Hamiltonian for which we're trying to solve the Schrodinger equation. This has the contributions from our model Hamiltonian plus uh, a small perturbative contribution from being exposed to a, an electrostatic field. To simplify this treatment a little bit, we're going to use the uh, ladder operators or creation and annihilation operators for the harmonic oscillator, uh, which we'll denote by A hat. So this is the creation operator and A hat dagger, which is the annihilation operator. And to refresh your memory, when the creation operator acts on an eigenstate of the quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator up to a normalization constant, it uh, promotes the eigenstate to the next higher energy eigenstate. Analogously, the annihilation operator applied to a energy eigenstate of the harmonic oscillator and not, again, up to a normalization constant, this demotes the energy eigenstate to uh, the one below it. With the added constraint that if you operate on the ground state, which will denote by cat zero, with a little zero on top, this is just equal to zero. Okay, so over here, we're denoting by cat and zero, the nth energy eigenstate of the quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator. And the important thing to keep in mind is the these energy eigenstates are orthogonal to one another. Okay, so they obey this orthonormality relationship 
that it's equal to zero if k is not equal to n and it's equal to one if k is equal to n. The last piece of information that we'll need is to be able to express the position operator x hat in terms of the creation and annihilation operators. Okay, so I won't go through the details, but this is, this can be recast as follows. And you can do the same thing for the momentum operator, but we won't need it for this problem. So we'll only need the position operator. All right, so this is the information that we're going to need for this problem. Uh, if you need to review creation and annihilation operators for the simple harmonic oscillator and quantum mechanics, uh, I recommend you do so before looking at the, the rest of this example. In the next video, we'll start looking at uh, the contributions of this perturbation to the first order corrections in, in the energy.